trigonometry part 3 before watching this video make sure that you have watched part 1 and 2 in this session we are going to discuss about the trigonometric ratios of some specific angles like uh, 0 degrees 30 degrees 45 degrees 60 and 90 degrees so first we'll go with 30 degrees and 60 degrees for this you have to consider an equilateral triangle ABC so we know that all the angles in the equilateral triangle are 60 degrees and let the sides of the triangle are 2A, 2A and 2A now draw the angle bisector of angle A that is AD this AD also divides the base into two equal parts means the angle bisector of angle A is also the bisector of BC so this BD will become A and DC also A and these angles also will become 30 degrees and 30 degrees okay so now let us consider triangle ABD in triangle ABD so angle D is 90 degrees because this is 30 plus 60 90 plus 90 180 degrees now it is a right angle the triangle angle D is equal to 90 degrees so from Pythagoras theorem we can say that AB square is equal to BD square plus AD square and AB square is 2A whole square and BD is a square plus ad square now ad square will be send a square to the other side 2a whole square is 4a square minus a square so ad square is equal to 3a square so ad is equal to under root 3a square therefore ad is equal to square root of 3 is root 3 and a square is a so ad is root 3 times a now in this let us consider sin 30 first sin 30 so sin 30 degrees we know that sin 30 is opposite by hypotenuse so opposite to 30 degrees what is opposite to 30 degrees that is bd so bd by hypotenuse is b a so that is what is BD now? A by BA is 2A. So A, A gets cancelled 1 by 2. So sin 30 is 1 by 2. Let us find out cos 30 now. Cos 30 is what? Adjacent by hypotenuse. What is adjacent side to 30? Adjacent side to 30 is AD. So that is AD by hypotenuse is BA. So AD is root 3A by BA is 2a so cos 30 is root 3 by 2 let us find out tan 30 tan 30 is opposite by adjacent so opposite to 30 by adjacent to 30 opposite to 30 is a by adjacent to 30 is root 3a a a gets cancelled and we have 1 by root 3 once when you know the sine and cos tan values we can find out the cosecant and secant and cot just by taking the reciprocals of sin, cos and tan. So what is cosecant 30? 1 by sin. That is 1 by sin 30. You can call it as 1 by 1 by 2. That is 2. And secant 30. Cos 30 is root 3 by 2. So secant 30 is 2 by root 3 and cot 30 is 1 by tan 30 tan 30 is 1 by root 3 therefore reciprocal of 1 by root 3 is root 3 so like this you can find out sin cos tan cosecant secant and cot for the angles 30 degrees now we will find what are these values for 60 degrees now we know that this is root 3 times a and this is a let us consider sin 60 sin 60 again it is opposite by hypotenuse what is opposite to 60 degrees now we have to consider the 60 degrees root 3a 
opposite is root 3a and what is hypotenuse 2a so that is a a gets cancelled it is root 3 by 2 next cos 60 is adjacent by hypotenuse what is adjacent to 60 degrees this is the adjacent to 60 degrees that is a by hypotenuse is 2a so again a a gets cancelled and it is 1 by 2 now tan 60 is opposite by hypotenuse what is opposite to 60 sorry opposite to opposite by adjacent what is opposite now root 3a by adjacent is a so a a gets cancelled tan 60 is root 3 now let us take cosecant 60 so instead of taking the re as reciprocal of sign we will take the definition hypotenuse by opposite what is the hypotenuse here 2a by opposite is root 3a so that is 2 by root 3 and next uh, secant 60 is hypotenuse by adjacent that is what is hypotenuse here 2a by adjacent is a so a a gets cancelled and the answer is 2 next cot 60 cot 60 is adjacent by opposite that is what is adjacent a by adjacent is opposite is root 3a so a a gets cancelled that is 1 by root 3 so in this way you can find out all the values of sin cos tan cosecant secant cot for 60 degrees angle okay now we will find the trigonometric ratio of 45 degrees so let us take a right angle triangle for this and it is also isosceles isosceles right angle the triangle abc and the equal sides are a and a a a and clearly it is 90 degrees and consider this as 45 degrees and 45 degrees now clearly triangle abc is a right angled triangle so it is a right triangle so from this we can say that pythagoras theorem is saying that ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square so ac square is ab and bc both are equal to a so a square plus a square that is 2a square ac square is equal to 2a square therefore ac is equal to square root of 2a square that is root 2 square root of 2 is root 2 and square root of a square is a so ac is root 2 times a this is root 2 times a now let us find out the values of sine and cos tan for 45 degrees from the definition sin 45 is defined as opposite by hypotenuse you can take either this 45 or this 45 anyhow you will get the same answer so i am taking this so opposite to 45 degrees is a by hypotenuse is root 2 a so 1 by root 2 is the sin 45 value next cos 45 is adjacent by hypotenuse what is adjacent here this is adjacent again it is a a by hypotenuse is root 2 a so that is also equal to 1 by root 2 next tan 45 tan 45 is opposite by adjacent so opposite is a adjacent is also a so a by a that is 1 so now we will take the reciprocals of sine that is cosecant 45 is 1 by sine 45 that is root 2. Secant 45 is nothing but 1 by cos 45 that is also equal to root 2. Now cot 45 is equal to 1 by tan 45 that is 1 by 1 is 1. So these are the values of all the trigonometric ratios for 45 degrees okay next 
trigonometric ratios for 0 degrees. So for this 0 degrees, how we have to consider? So let us take a line segment and take the triangle APM where the angle is theta, angle A is equal to theta. This angle A is equal to theta. Now we have to find the trigonometric ratio for 0 degrees. So before that, I want to define what is sine theta. Sine theta is opposite by hypotenuse. Here opposite is PM and hypotenuse is AP. PM by AP. And cos theta is AM by AP. That is adjacent by hypotenuse. And tan theta is opposite by adjacent. So this is the adjacent side. This is the opposite side. Now, I want to decrease this angle theta. When theta is decreasing gradually, what happens? Let us see. When theta is decreasing gradually, the length of PM is also decreasing, if you observe it clearly. So, theta is decreasing more and more and more. At some time, theta will become 0. Then, PM also will be 0. Means, when theta is equal to 0 degrees, P comma M are coinciding with each other. Okay, then what is the length of PM? PM is 0. And also you can say that this AP, length of AP is becoming length of AM. Because P and M are the same points, then length of AP will be length of AM. Now, substitute theta is equal to 0 here, sine 0. When theta is 0, what is PM and AP? PM is 0. So, 0 by AP is equal to 0. Therefore, sin 0 is what? 0. Sin 0 is 0. Let us take cos 0. When theta is 0, what is AM by AP? When theta is 0, AM and AP both are equal to each other. So, in place of AM, in place of AP, I am writing AM. We know that AP is equal to AM. So, AM, AM gets cancelled. So, cos 0 is equal to 1. Then, tan 0. Tan 0 is what? PM by AM. What is PM? So, okay, write PM as it is. And what is AM? Okay, write AM as it is. Okay, PM, but PM is 0 here. PM is not 0 degrees. PM is 0. 0 by AM is equal to 0. So, tan 0 is 0. Now, what will be the cosecant 0? 1 by sin 0. That is 1 by 0. The division by 0 is not defined. Means it is infinity. And secant 0 is 1 by cos 0. That is 1 by 1 is also 1. Next, we will go with cot 0. It is 1 by tan 0 that is 1 by 0. Again, it is not defined. The answer is infinity. So, these are the values of all trigonometric ratios for 0 degrees. Hope it is clear. Now, we will find out the ratios for 90 degrees. So, just now we have considered this triangle APM and this theta is angle A is equal to theta. Now, the theta should become 90 degrees. Means, we have to increase this angle theta. It is something around 45 degrees, let us say. If it is increased by degree by degree by degree, what happens, we will see. And these are the definitions of sin theta, cos theta, tan theta. Now, theta is increased and the length of PM is also increasing and the distance between A and M is also decreasing. See, when theta is increasing, AM is decreasing. See, theta is increasing and length of PM is increasing and AM is decreasing. At some point, when theta is equal to 90 degrees, when theta is equal to 90 degrees, A and M are coinciding. A is equal to M and can I say AP is equal to MP or PM. AP is equal to PM. Okay, I can say that. AP is equal to PM. Because A and M are coinciding. And what is the value of AM now? AM is 0. Now we have to remember that AM value is 0. 
and AP is equal to PM based on these two points we will find out the values of sin 90 now sin 90 what is sin 90 PM by AP PM by AP so I am writing PM by we know that AP is equal to PM therefore in place of AP I am writing PM so sin 90 is PM PM gets cancelled that is equal to 1 now cos 90 is equal to am by ap what is am am is 0 0 by ap is equal to 0 next tan 90 okay tan 90 degrees is defined by pm by am what is pm pm by am am is what am is equal to 0 so can i say that pm by 0 that is something by 0 is undefined and which is equal to infinity now let us take the reciprocals of these angles so cosecant 90 is equal to 1 by sine 90 is equal to 1 by 1 that is 1 next secant 90 is equal to 1 by cos 90 cos 90 is 0 that is 1 by 0 is undefined and you can write it as infinity then cot 90 is 1 by tan 90 and 1 by infinity is 0 so 1 by 0 is infinity and 1 by infinity is 0 now all the values sin cos tan cosecant secant cot for all the angles 0 30 45 60 90 we have found now if i tabulate all these values it will be like this don't forget to like share and subscribe